Tucked away in the heart of the Baltics, Lithuania, often known as the Silicon Valley of Europe, is a small but mighty country. This innovative nation has long been overshadowed by its more renowned neighbors, but its tech industry is a powerful force, drawing in investors and entrepreneurs from around the globe. Beneath its unassuming surface lies a nation with a rich and storied past, intertwined with a present defined by pioneering technology and digital advancements. Let's explore 63 facts about Lithuania, the beating heart of Europe's tech revolution. 1. Lithuania, officially the Republic of Lithuania, is a country in the Baltic region of Europe. It is one of three Baltic states and lies on the eastern shore of the Baltic Sea. Lithuania shares land borders with Latvia to the north, Belarus to the east and south, Poland to the south, and Russia to the southwest. 2. Lithuania's tech industry has seen substantial growth, with the number of tech companies increasing to over 2,100 in 2023, more than doubling from 900 in 2020. This rapid expansion showcases the thriving digital economy and highlights Lithuania's pivotal role as the Silicon Valley of Europe. 3. If there's one other thing Lithuania is known for, it's definitely its lakes. There are about 6,000 lakes in Lithuania, covering 950 square kilometers, 367 square miles, or 1.5% of the territory of Lithuania. There are lakes with castles, both above and below the water, and lakes that are nature's cradle and would make any bird watcher's day. Some of such lakes you'd like to visit are Lake Torangas, Lake Balsuas, Lake Galve, and Lake Sartai. 4. The country is also known for its unusual laws. Did you know that up until 2002, women in Lithuania were required to undergo a gynecological examination before obtaining a driver's license? Some officials argued that this requirement for women, which dates from Soviet times, should be kept because some gynecological diseases can cause sudden pains and even temporary loss of consciousness. 5. Lithuania has seen the rise of notable tech startups over the years, such as Vinted, a second-hand clothes marketplace. Vinted reached unicorn status in 2019 and has since raised around $562 million, valuing the company at $4.5 billion. Its backers include reputable firms such as Acel, Insight Partners, and Lightspeed Venture Partners, signaling global interest and confidence in Lithuania's tech ecosystem. 6. Another Lithuanian tech success story is Nord Security, famous for NordVPN, which achieved a valuation of $1.6 billion following its first institutional fundraise. Its investors include the private equity firm Norviter and Matt Mullenweg, the co-creator of WordPress. This highlights Lithuania's capacity to produce innovative tech firms with global reach. 7. Koronian Spit, Kursak Nereja National Park, is rightfully the most famous national park in Lithuania. This UNESCO-inspired 98-kilometer-long narrow Baltic Sea peninsula, now spanned by two countries, Lithuania and Russia, is unique both naturally and culturally. The powerful dunes that used to bury entire fishermen villages were tamed by planting pine forests. Some of the wild animals that live here include the wild moose, roe deer, Eurasian beavers, and wild boars. 8. On 23 August 1989, around 2 million citizens from Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia joined hands in a human chain that stretched 600 kilometers across the three Baltic countries. Only a few months after these events, which formed part of the so-called Singing Revolution, Lithuania became the first country to declare independence from the Soviet Union. 9. The residents of Vilnius can fly hot air balloons in the city center. In fact, Vilnius is one of those few capitals where hot air balloon flights are allowed. You can admire at least several flights crossing Vilnius early in the morning or evening, and all simultaneously if weather conditions are suitable. Vilnius boasts many places to start the flight. 10. Lithuania is home to the Vilnius Tech Zidi Campus, a 27,000 square meter hub for tech and innovation. It has drawn more than 5,000 professionals from startups, corporations, and venture capitalists. This state-of-the-art innovation center strengthens Lithuania's reputation as a leader in the tech and innovation landscape of Europe. 11. If a Lithuanian woman chooses to take her husband's last name when getting married, the ending "een" is added to her last name. For instance, if a woman with the surname Kazluskas gets married, her last name becomes Kazluskain. Generally speaking, if a woman's last name ends with it or eit, you can be sure that she is unmarried. 
2012, Lithuania's population of 2023 is estimated at 2,718,352 people at mid-year, and it covers an area of about 65,300 kilometers squared, or 25,200 square miles. About the size of West Virginia, Lithuania is larger than Belgium, Denmark, Latvia, the Netherlands, or Switzerland. 13. Lithuanian men are the tallest on average in the world, standing at 5 foot 11 inches, and Lithuanian women stand an impressive 5 foot 7 inches. Lithuania also ranks 13th in the world in terms of average height. 14. Basketball is the country's national sport, and the team is ranked third worldwide. Several players have even joined the NBA, such as Arvidas Sambonas, Pranas Lubinas, and Rimas Kurtinaitis. 15. The local beer in the country is praised worldwide for its unique taste and exceptional quality. Lithuanian beer has won gold, silver, and bronze in the World Beer Awards, with famous brands including Svirtis Extra, Utena Salus, and Vilnius Salus, Tamiusis, Kalinopoulos Original, Volfas Engelmann Richtini, and Zelui Barrel Beer 95. 16. The top breweries in the country have perfected their art, which is recognized globally. Through their beer-making processes, they have discovered how vodka can be made from the fermentation of corn flour with yeast. Some Lithuanian vodkas include Strumbus Potato Vodka, Lithuanian Original Vodka, C Vodka Original, and Gira Vodka. 17. The country boasts a substantial pool of tech talent attributed to its robust education system. According to Eurostat data, Lithuania has the highest percentage of people with tertiary education in Europe, at 58.3%. Among these graduates, a significant number specialize in IT and related fields, forming a large part of the tech-savvy workforce. 18. Lithuania is small but mighty. It was the first country to declare independence from the USSR and did so on March 11, 1990. Much has been written about the fall of the Soviet Union as well as the relationships between the Baltics and Russia, and many factors played a part. But it might be said that Lithuania set the dominoes in motion as one country after another pulled away from the USSR. 19. The Lithuanian language is one of the most difficult languages to learn in the world. One of the reasons why this is so can be that in Lithuanian, a pitched accent is used, which is difficult for English speakers or even people of other languages to pronounce. 20. The longest Lithuanian word is which has 37 letters, and the exact meaning of the word is something like a group of people who used to go to a forest to pick up some rabbit grass but are no longer doing that. 21. Lithuania is home to a vast array of stunning beaches that can be enjoyed during the summer months. The best ones are Palanga Beach, Sventoji Beach, Melranj Beach, and Nida Beach. 22. While the average salary in Lithuania was 1,670 euro before tax per month in 2022, the tech industry notably surpasses this figure. The average salary at startup stands at 3,700 euro, demonstrating the sector's capacity to offer competitive pay. Moreover, some companies, such as gaming company Wargaming and fintech firm Kevin, offer even higher average salaries exceeding 5,000 euro per month. Furthermore, game developer Game Insight pays more than 12,000 euro per month. 23. The city of Vilnius is home to a unique monument dedicated to the legendary American musician Frank Zappa. The monument, which is located in the heart of the city, pays tribute to the musician's free spirit despite his having no connection to the city or the country. It all started with artist Selenius Poxis, who visited the USA and told everyone about how he became friends with Zappa. Though this was later revealed to be a lie, Zappa's music and free-spiritedness caught the attention of other Lithuanian artists, and he became a symbol of freedom. 24. Sculptor Konstantinas Bogdonas, who was known for his busts of Lenin during Soviet times, created the Zappa statue as a sign of a new era of post-Soviet Lithuania. Initially, the monument was supposed to be erected next to the M.K. Curlionis Art Gymnasium, but teachers resisted because the sculpture closely resembled the famous Lithuanian composer the school is named after, and they feared that Zappa's music might have a bad influence on the youth. As such, the monument was placed at its current location, where it was unveiled on 17 December 1995. 
25. Lithuania does not have high mountains, however, its landscape is dominated by blooming meadows, dense forests, and fertile fields of cereals. Some of the most famous hills you can visit in Lithuania are the Oxtojas, the Krugelpine Hills, and the Juazapine Hills. 26. In Eurovision 2006, Lithuania sent a mocking song called We Are the Winners, where they repeatedly said, We are the winners of Eurovision, and you gotta vote for the winners. They ended up placing sixth, and the song became the first platinum single in Lithuania in four years. They also made a World Cup version of that song, even though Lithuania hadn't qualified for it. 27. There's a Bohemian neighborhood in Vilnius called the Republic of Azupis that has its own flag, unofficial currency, president, constitution, and an army of 11 men. 28. Did you know that Lithuania has two independence days? That's right. Lithuania first declared independence from the Russian Empire on February 16, 1918. After it was annexed by the Soviet Union, Lithuania had to fight for its freedom again. It succeeded in 1990. On March 11th of every year, Lithuanians celebrate their restoration of independence from the USSR. 29. In Lithuania, a dish by the name juka is made out of goose, duck, or chicken blood and is served with potatoes or black bread. People usually tend to find it awful and disgusting. 30th. The Stelmuz oak is one of the most revered tree species located in Lithuania. This tree is over 1,500 years old and it is 13 meters in diameter and 25 meters tall. In the year 1960, it was declared a national monument and the government has put in measures to protect the natural resources of the three tree species. 31. Some basic phrases in Lithuanian are Hello means labas, good morning means labas ritas, good evening means labas vakaras, thank you means achiu, goodbye means visojiro. 32. Jonas Jablonski, the most influential Lithuanian linguist, once said, Maza garbis vitam kalban kabati, didi gede savos garai namakatiki, which means, there is no honor in speaking a foreign language, there is a great shame in not knowing your language perfectly. This phrase only shows how proud Lithuanians are of their own language. Of course, nowadays, Lithuanians learn foreign languages, but they still feel the love for the beauty of Lithuanian words. 33. Lake Belusas is one of the few lakes where you can find vendace, freshwater whitefish that is considered a delicatess by the locals. If that didn't get your mouth watering, there are plenty of other fresh or smoked fish to choose from – eels, breams, pike perches, and so on. In addition to fish, we recommend trying seasonal local dishes made with ingredients from local forests. 34. Next to Lake Belusas, you can find Sumanai, another famous lake where one of the locally most famous movies about the Lithuanian equivalent of Robin Hood, called Tadas Blinda, has been filmed. Not too far from Sumanai, you can hike to Ganuchai Mound, a historical settlement of Balts or Landakilinus Hills. 35. Lithuanian belongs to the Baltic family of the Indo-European family of languages. Being 5,000 years old, it is one of the oldest spoken languages in the world and even has words such as viras, man, suo, dog, avis, sheep, which are cognate in Sanskrit. It means that Lithuanians can recognize some words while listening to the Indian language. 36. In 1863 to 1904, when the Russian Empire banned any use of Latin characters in its territory, Lithuania belonged to the Russian Empire at the time, many people risked their lives to bring Lithuanian books from Prussia into the country. Today, those book smugglers are national heroes, and there is a monument in Lithuania dedicated to their selfless patriotism, believed to be the only one of its kind in existence. 37. The Trakai Island Castle is a stone castle, and its construction began during the 14th century. It was in 1409 when the construction work ended, but still, some works were still left. Castidus was the main founder of this castle. 38. Of all the Baltic states, Lithuanians are most closely related to Latvians, rather than Estonians, who are more Nordic than Baltic. Even so, Lithuanians and Latvians aren't very closely related. 39. In their own language, the country is called Lietuva. 40. Due to its former Soviet history, Lithuania is multicultural, though not quite as much as the other countries in the Baltic region. Ethnic Lithuanians comprise about 84% of the population, with Russians and Poles accounting for most of the rest. 41. Lithuania is blessed with some beautiful cities which are full of lovely vibes. Burstonas, Zarasai, Nida, and Vilnius Old Town are some of the towns you have to visit. 
42. In Lithuania, the Easter granny, Velka Ksenele, delivers Easter eggs and treats to the children. Children often prepare for the Easter granny by leaving empty homemade egg nests outside their homes and gardens and shrubs. On Easter morning, they wake to search for their hidden treasures. 43. Some of the most popular Lithuanian names are linked to nature. The practice comes from ancient times when Lithuanians used to be in contact with nature and named their children after trees, natural phenomenon, or flowers. Lithuanian names such as Ruta, roof flower, Egil, fin tree, Ausra, dawn, Gintaras, amber are still common today. 44. Lithuania is a country that takes pride in having their own perfume. The scent of Lithuania, created by Gallimard, is a national scent of the country and is a mix of bergamot, wildflowers, ginger, raspberry, and grapefruit, with amber, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, tree moss, and tree smoke as base notes. 45. Lithuania is full of medieval castles. Some of the most stunning castles in the country are the Kanaus Castle, the Radon Castle, the Birzai Castle, and the Rondonviris Castle. 46. Every year the river Vilnia is dyed bright emerald green for St. Patrick's Day. This practice began in the 1960s after plumbers in Chicago discovered a way to dye water without making it dirty. 47. If you're visiting Lithuania during the summer, you won't be able to escape seeing people eat saltabarskai or cold beetroot soup. Beets, mixed with a refreshing list of ingredients such as kefir, cucumbers, and dill, give the soup its characteristic color. 48. Forest covers one-third of the country, including many protected regions and national parks. 49. Lithuania is one of several countries vying for recognition as containing the geographical center of Europe, just north of Vilnius. 50. The national bird is the stork, as many of them make their homes in the rural areas of the country. 51. According to a study made by a French scientist in 1989, Lithuania is in the geographical center of Europe. To calculate this, the method used was that of the center of gravity of the geometrical figure of Europe. 52. Sepalinae, literally zeppelins, singular sepalinus or didzukukulai, are potato dumplings packed with minced beef, dry curd cheese, or mushrooms and prepared with grated and rice potatoes. It's been called Lithuania's national dish and it's usually served as a main course. 53. Oksteitja National Park was established in 1974. It is the oldest national park in Lithuania. More than 70% of its area is covered by woods. 80% of the woods are pine stands, some reaching 200 years old. Also, there are 126 lakes scattered among the woods and hills. 54. One of Lithuania's most awe-inspiring sites is the legendary Hill of Crosses. It has been a site of pilgrimage for hundreds of years. The tradition of leaving crosses began after an uprising against the Russian Tsar was put down in 1831. Over the generations, not only crosses and crucifixes, but statues of the Virgin Mary, carvings of Lithuanian patriots, and thousands of tiny effigies and rosaries have been brought here by Catholic pilgrims. Today, there are some 200,000 crosses, carvings, and shrines at the site made out of everything from wood to metal. 55. Lithuanians are usually quite rational people, but they still knock on wood, just in case. Other funky superstitions including not passing sharp objects from one hand to another, this might lead to a quarrel. And speaking of sharp objects, if you drop a fork or a spoon at the dinner table, it means someone's going to come and visit you that day. Fork means it's a man and spoon means it's a lady. 56. Popular natural products from the country are basically those which best suit the cool and moist northern climate of Lithuania. For example, barley, potatoes, rye, beets, greens, berries, and mushrooms are locally grown, and dairy products are one of its specialties. Various ways of pickling were used to preserve food for winter. 57. Pazaslis Monastery and Church form the largest monastery complex in Lithuania and the most significant example of Italian Baroque architecture in the country. Founded in 1662 by Polish nobleman and great chancellor of Lithuania, Krzysztof Zygmunt Pak, for the order of the Camelodelis Hermits. 58. People in the Baltics are accustomed to eating a large breakfast in order to replenish their energy for the next day's labor. Fried eggs with fresh veggies, ham and cheese sandwiches, omelets, and oatmeal are some of the most popular breakfast options. 59. Lithuania has a long history as an agricultural nation due to its flat terrain and moderate climate. 
the country has an abundance of forests which have provided fuel and building materials throughout the centuries. Even today, much of Lithuania's population lives in rural areas where small-scale farming is still prevalent. In the 19th century, Lithuanian farmers implemented innovations such as crop rotation and fertilization. These techniques contributed to a period of great agricultural growth that lasted until World War II. 60. Lithuania is the last pagan nation in all of Europe. 1,000 years after the rest of the continent had converted from paganism, Lithuania's beliefs held tried and true. They regularly prayed to multiple gods of things like the weather, the harvest, or fertility. 61. The first railway network in Lithuania was established in the 19th century, connecting Warsaw and St. Petersburg. 62. Bread and salt are so important to Lithuanians that they welcome important guests or a new bride and groom with a loaf of bread and salt. 63. The first Lithuanian plane, a wooden sports monoplane designed by Jurgis Dobkivius, was built in 1922. Alfonsas Meonis introduced the first practical Lithuanian innovations in 1925. He created an electric bell that could ring at several locations at the same time. Thanks for watching. Which country would you like to see in the next video? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe.